Oh, come on, let me just blah, blah, blah. Hey Kaz! Welcome back to Shelly and Nay, where you know when we're on. It's poppin' y'all! We came back for another Tea Time Tuesday mm -hmm. because we had a couple things to say. So, cheers! Cheers! If you're new to our channel, welcome. We love you already. So Nay and I have been having some discussions in our personal lives. And we just wanted to talk to you guys about a simple concept. And that is, no means no. And that is a fact in any situation where anyone is telling you no and oh. It's that simple, y'all. We're about to get into it, but before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you're nasty, and don't forget to tell your besties, y'all. Keep putting your besties on Shelly and A because we are on the road to YK! <laughs> and don't forget to watch our videos from beginning to end, people. Do not forget. Mm -hmm, for it's very real. important. It is. And you miss some hidden gems when you don't watch the whole thing. Ask some of our kids. Yeah. Because there's stuff that happens inside the videos and you won't know unless you watch all the way through. Exactly. Some of you guys have like hit us up to be like, oh my god, I am like I'm glad I watched all the way through because I saw this happened or that happened yeah. or you said this and I was dying for two hours or you know what I mean? It's yeah. it's just really simple it's stuff. Sometimes it's but... nothing to do with the video. It's just Yeah. So really guys, if you watch from start to finish, not only does it really support our channel, but you will learn something or laugh extra hard or you know just be entertained so you know give us the benefit of the doubt watch all of our videos start to finish from our very <laughs> first video to this video right now go so as we said no means no and we felt like we had to discuss this because a lot of people don't seem to get the concept and i don't know why and it's something as simple as you're at a party and you offer your friend a drink and they say no, but you keep pressuring them and pressuring them and pressuring them. For whatever reason, that person is saying no to you, but you're still putting pressure on them to change their mind. And it's almost forceful. And at that point, it becomes wrong. So it may sound like it's nothing, like it's just a small little thing, but it could be really important to some people. Maybe that person is choosing not to drink for religious reasons, or maybe that person is pregnant, like you said. Maybe they're sober, they're a recovering addict, you know, like you never know. So it's just best to just take their no as a no and don't ask again, because people don't owe you their life explanation in one interaction, or ever, you know? But especially if somebody's saying no, it's for a reason. So they don't want to tell you what the reason is, but their answer is no, so just take it as a no. Yeah, take it for what it is. Yeah. I mean, just imagine yourself being in that situation and feeling like, oh gosh, like I don't want this person to keep hounding me about the same question that I've already said no to a thousand times. Like, I get it. I think we've all been in that situation where our friend or our partner or family member or someone has been like, oh, just do it, just do it. and. You know, maybe there are certain things where you'd be like, okay, like I'll just do it. But at the end of the day, you still had to be swayed to do it. So mm -hmm. you should never force someone just because you probably wouldn't want to be in that situation yourself. And I think that if that person, whatever it is, whatever they want to do, they will change their mind on their own to do it mm -hmm. if they really want to do it anyways. So, you know, it's just about respecting people's boundaries also. Take the no for what it is because it's just going to cause little or less problems or no problems basically. Mm. At the end of the day, no one knows us anything at all. You know, yeah. if someone chooses to tell you why they're saying no, that it's totally up to them and that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. But don't keep pushing them so they can so they feel like they have to explain why the answer is a no because that mm -hmm. also sucks. Some people just don't want to talk about things. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't know you and they just don't want to tell you, period. So exactly. There's a number of different reasons, so just let it be because you wouldn't want to be in that situation. Yeah, exactly. I know for me, growing up where my weight was always up and down, up and down like crazy, 
and I was trying to, you know, get healthy and do my thing where eating's concerned and, you know, eat healthy and eat proper portions. And it's hard when the people around you aren't on that same journey because situations come up, for example, Friday night, oh, let's order a pizza and that's your family. So you're going to eat dinner with your family and everybody's saying, oh, take a bite, just have one slice, have two slices, treat yourself. And it's like, no. And the more I say no and the more people keep pressuring, that doesn't help the situation, right? So mm -hmm. any type of pressure you're putting on somebody when they say no, it's not really fair. And then you're also getting them off track when they're trying to do the opposite, right? Because it's already super hard to control. Mm -hmm yourself in certain ways right so pressuring somebody when they say no doesn't help that self-control and it doesn't make them feel good mm -hmm. you know like, Very true. like imagine you're trying to lose some weight or you're trying to improve your health and somebody's pressuring you to do the opposite keep supporting that person don't put them on a path that they don't want to be on where it's already hard for them to have even made that decision to be like okay i'm actively going to or i'm consciously going to be eating right let's say for example it is like what you brought up Shelly mm -hmm. like if someone's like okay I'm only I'm portion controlling and I'm making sure to have water and I don't want greasy foods or I don't want foods that are super sugary or whatever the case like for you to go and shove pizza in their face it's number one gonna make them feel like okay well maybe maybe just one slice or maybe I maybe I don't actually need to do this thing for myself where they had already spent time convincing themselves that this is what they wanted for themselves for their own reasons and now you're about to encourage them to get off track first of all why would you want to do that if you care about them right not to be disrespectful but it's like why would you want to sabotage someone you supposedly care about mm -hmm. and then it also I feel like puts some doubt in that person's mind where they're thinking, oh, I'm on a roll, I've been doing this for a week, I feel great, I feel this, I feel that. Mm -hmm. And then, it, especially if they're actively saying like, like if they're like, hey guys, like I'm eating this way, like you guys enjoy your pizza, but I want to eat a chicken salad or something. Mm -hmm. And if you to go be like, oh, are you sure you don't want some pizza? Like, <laughs> I would literally start crying my eyes out if that yeah, was me. Because yeah, like no, Shelly, I've too. also had my issues with weight mm -hmm. i've been pretty much up and down my whole life it's also fine mm -hmm. like you know you come to accept whatever it is or you make the change if that's what you want mm -hmm. yeah i agree with what nay said and at the same time your friend or family member whoever it is may not actually come out and say hey i want to eat healthy and this and that so if you just notice that they're saying no to junk food and either for example eating a chicken salad just don't call them out on it if they haven't spoke on it you know mm -hmm. it's just it can be very sensitive for some people and when they tell you no to having a piece of cake or a piece of pizza or a drink or whatever it is just leave them alone because mm -hmm. they're again like you were saying there could be many reasons as to why they're saying no and they don't owe you an explanation mm -hmm. so and who wants to <laughs> sit there and talk about it and be like well i'm feeling not great about myself mm -hmm. so you can see proof of that because i have a yeah. chicken salad here i don't get to enjoy pizza the way you guys do right now mm -hmm. so you know would you want to have that discussion with someone? Probably not. Don't beg people for explanations. Mm -hmm. Just in general, you know, this is just a very general statement. Don't beg people for explanations. If they feel to tell you, they will. And right. if they don't feel to tell you, then maybe they'll tell you later. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we just have to be very respectful and careful. Everyone's going through something that, you know, mm -hmm. we're not going to know about right away. So mm -hmm. just let them be and they'll come to you if they feel. Mm -hmm. And if they never do, Still, you gotta love them the same way. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know, if they never do and they just work through it on their own, that's just how they needed to work through it and yeah. you can't take it personally and yeah. As humans, I feel like we also have to make peace with the fact that we're not gonna know everything about everyone mm -hmm. when we want to, when it's convenient for us. Like, mm -hmm. I know for me, I like to control certain things. I like to know things when I ask about them and I, I'm like that too, you know, for, for anyone who's like that, I can absolutely relate, but I'm, definitely working on hey you know if this is not my business and you don't want me to know then you know that's your prerogative you don't have to tell me and mm -hmm. I'm also taking that for myself and being like hey I don't need to tell person a B and C every single thing that's happening in my life at mm -hmm. each time like I will speak on it when I'm ready or when I'm comfortable or when I'm emotionally stable to speak on it some people just aren't even stable enough to speak comfortably on it also that's true and also if you force somebody to give you an answer when they're not ready if they say no i don't want to talk about this or i don't want to disclose this and that you 
may force them to give you an answer that's not entirely true mm. you know what i mean you may pressure somebody into saying something that they don't actually mean i feel like it's happened to me before and i couldn't give you an example right now but you know when somebody just needs an answer right then and there and they're pressuring you pressuring you don't want to answer and it's like no i don't want to talk about it whatever and they keep pressuring you then you say something and then when you reflect on it you're like why did i say that that's not even what i meant mm -hmm. but to that person that's the answer that they wanted and they just wanted it instantly mm -hmm. and so when you try to go back and explain they're not going to believe you yeah because you know unless they're really really understanding but as chances are they won't believe what you have to say so if somebody like nay said just doesn't want to tell you something or disclose something to you just let them be they will come to you when they're ready they will disclose when they're ready if it's something that you feel you're entitled to know at the end of the day no matter what it is you're not really entitled to know it mm -hmm. you know what i mean like whatever yeah, belongs fair. to you that's yours yeah. there of course are i guess there is special circumstances but for the most part you guys know what i'm saying it's just you don't, you don't you're not entitled to know every single thing right mm -hmm. and you just have to accept that <laughs> yeah and remember that it, it works for yourself as well that the people surrounding you don't need to know everything about your life the second it happens mm -hmm. or at all so amen you know just know that you are in charge of your own life and you get to make those decisions about yourself and mm -hmm. not have to explain why you're doing it like mm -hmm. we definitely i think something that maybe most of us can work on is living for ourselves and doing what feels comfortable for mm -hmm. ourselves without thinking oh my gosh i have to explain 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 we are mm -hmm. gonna end up hurting ourselves doing so much more damage mm -hmm. stressing about those things rather than just living and acting when and how we feel too right and last but not least before we close out the video we have to touch on the topic of getting freaky because right yeah no means no means no means no okay that's all you need to know. And if Noah said before, during, or after, it's a no. That's a thing. Like, or again, with that pressure, if somebody says no or they're not sure and you pressure them, oh, come on, let me just blah, blah, blah. A no, no, no. If you have to force somebody to do anything, especially we're getting freaky as concerned, you should probably take a look at yourself because that's a little predator ish, I feel. Yeah, I mean, and we can speak on this stuff because we're women and that's all I'll say. Okay, yeah. because you don't and again, it could ha be the opposite way, especially and and I feel like we need to talk to the males out there too because of course. there's been a lot of situations and even people that I've known who they've felt and they were males that they did not want to do certain things and that they felt pressured because oh, I'm the guy I'm supposed to want to do no like, you don't no. you don't have to do anything male female everything in between mm -hmm. no means no means no means no exactly and I'm not sure also means no mm -hmm. if someone doesn't come out and say yes 100% like if there's no yes mm -hmm. take it for a no because mm -hmm. No one should have to think about it. Like this is truly something that I feel like you know you want to do it or you know you don't want to do it. Yeah. So if you do want to do it, you're going to say yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think to put it simply, you're gonna say yes. And if mm -hmm. you don't, I think no can come in many forms. So it can come in the form of, I don't know, or I'm mm -hmm. not ready, or I'm not sure, or mm -hmm. even maybe, maybe it's not yes. Yeah. You know, someone could say maybe, and they might think that, okay, I could possibly, and then as soon as the time comes, or a second into it, they could change, change their, their mind, mind. Or, or they really weren't actually ready. So you need to make sure you're doing your part and actually listening to what that person is saying. Boy, girl, mm -hmm. anything across the board where a human being is concerned, mm -hmm listen to that person especially if you care about them and again i'm not saying every situation is this deep caring thing if you're yo even if you're into one night stands that's great good for you mm -hmm. but if that person still changes their mind you need to respect that because yeah. no it is going no. to cause so much damage later mm -hmm. on on both sides oops so that's pretty much it guys we had to get a little bit deep on you because we've been having certain conversations lately and we just need to reiterate and remind everybody that no means no and why a lot of people don't understand i don't know but this is why we put this discussion out there because you guys can comment down below we can have a discussion 
whatever you guys want to do but let's just talk about these things because like we said anything you want your friend to go out they say no leave it at that don't try to force them don't try to get them to explain it could be a number of different reasons just leave them alone food getting freaky whatever it may be no means no so mm -hmm. just leave people alone when they say no that's all accept it that one time and and that's it yep simple as that. all there is to it thank you guys for being with us throughout our tea time segment if you made it to the end of the video thank you you are so appreciated by the way don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell if you're nasty and don't forget to tell your bestie guys let's get to 1k today well, that would be a serious boost that really would be guys honestly just do it just let's just let's just do it we just want to go onto our youtube later today and be surprised and be like oh 1k thank y'all <laughs> let's go y'all got this we do i mean we like we we <laughs> all of us oh my it. gosh anyways later, later kids